Hey, what's up guys? So I realize a lot of you guys are actually looking to buy a sports car, a muscle car, you know, like this one here. What I wanted to do real quick was just give you guys five tips or things you probably want to consider before buying a car like this, especially with the fifth tip I'm gonna give you guys on this. A lot of people go into these cars you know expecting one thing and it doesn't end up being that so let's just get right into it all right guys so tip number one find a family-owned shop or a personal mechanic the reason i say this guys is because first you will save money maintenance can be very expensive um, on this car depending on how you plan to drive you guys have seen that on my uh, channel with several videos um, the kind of money I spend. Some of these smaller shops, one of the things they do is that they allow you to bring your own parts um, and you just pay them for the labor to do the work for you. So that way you're avoiding some of these places like dealerships that do some excessive upcharging on car parts. Another thing too guys in these family owned shops or if you have a personal mechanic, you'll probably have the same person working on your car every time. Certain maintenance like oil changes can seem easy guys but something very small could be missing and could cause you problems for example they might not put the right amount of oil in the car um, a lot of people for example they don't know that this car actually takes 10 quarts of oil or they might actually over tighten something or even on sports cars like bmw's guys those cars are a lot more complicated they have a lot more technology so if your guy did a service for you that you know you're probably gonna be coming back for you know things like oil change or brakes if he did it once on your car you know he already knows your car and the chances of him actually fucking it up um, is definitely less now a lot of people do their own maintenance so you know if you feel comfortable doing it yourself or you can you know that's always a plus tip number two guys is be careful with your budget i sort of talked about this previously a little bit in my uh, cost to own video if you don't plan to pay cash guys and you're going with payments you know ask yourself this can i afford 0.5 times the car payment of the car so for example if you expect your car payment to be 500 dollars a month or the dealer tells you you know your, your car payments is going to be 500 ask yourself you know can i afford an extra 250 dollars a month on the car payment if it came to it think about that extra 250 as savings for things like you know gas um, oil change tires you know, car washes because i know if you guys get a sports car muscle car like this you're going to be washing it all the time or even just some unexpected car costs guys you want to be prepared you don't want to end up in a situation where you're living paycheck to paycheck because of a car tip number three guys and this is a thing that a lot of people overlook is wheel locks guys chances are that if you are going to get a sports car like this it probably has some rims on it that are not going to be cheap. Guys, people are out here still stealing rims and putting your cars on bricks, man. I've had it happen to me. It is not a nice feeling. Most of the times the cops can't or won't even help you as much. Now, I was lucky and my wheel locks actually came with my car. I don't know if it was from the previous owner or the dealership, but um, if you buy a car like this, the same day you buy it go get wheel locks man tip number four guys this one is obvious and quick prepare for car insurance um the easiest way to do that is to you know use an insurance app like geico you know i'm insured through geico they make it really super easy to get a quote for insurance so before i got this car i knew exactly how much i was going to be paying in insurance and tip number five guys and this is the last and final tip guys this car okay and this one is mostly for the guys out there okay this car okay is not a pussy magnet a lot of people buy this car and they expect that you know you just gonna go out on the road and you're gonna get like all kinds of chicks hitting you up no this car this car attracts a lot more guys than girls now i won't lie um every month i at least see two or more chicks just staring at me down in this car on the road and um it's a good feeling you know everybody looking i even had a case where a couple of them asked for my number right then and there on the road but i just want to let you guys know that the male to female ratio um, of attention that you're going to be getting for this car uh, that's what it is man so if you guys found this video helpful man or you enjoy content like this uh, you know make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video uh, make sure you subscribe if you are new to this channel man that is going to be it for this video guys i'll see you guys in the next one so this car is actually a major chick magnet but don't tell anybody